when she asked me, but everybody else, Tim, I can't remember. You set your dogs up wrong. Because you set your dogs up facing this way. No, mine was here. The obstacle was there. Right here. So what you did was you released your dog and then you pushed them over that jump, which is a bad habit. Um, all they need to do is go like this. And they're looking right at that jump. So that's just something to think about. Next week is context class. We're going to lower the dog walk. We're going to... Jack did a great job. That's not his A-frame height. He would do six inches shorter. Just so you know. He can do it. I know, but the cool thing is he wouldn't have to. In his class, it's the only time it gets lowered is the eight-inch class they lower it. Um, we're going to work contacts, and we're going to work with the poles, and we're going to do baby dog and poles and get you guys cracking on that crap. So get here early so you can break down the equipment with me so we don't waste class time doing that. Otherwise, it's awesome. Our goal was connection, and we all had that, and that's what is important. Yeah. So, have a fantastic weekend. If you guys want to check out my classes, my business card is out there, and take a Pet Food Express coupon for 20% off there. I put some on the table. But my Dr. SF cards are out there, and I have...